when we, I first came to the United States of America, to become an American citizen, you have to get your first papers, your second papers, and your final papers. And the first time I applied, ages went by and I heard nothing and I spoke to the attorney and I said, you know, we've never heard anything from the immigration department. My application was lost. So I had to apply again. By this time, the first paper, second papers, and final papers system was gone. It was cancelled and done with and you applied once. And then you had to go and do a, a, a history exam and all that sort of thing, which I did and I passed. And then I went up to a desk that had a lady behind it, and she said, put your hand up, and I did. And she said, uh, now you're going to forswear allegiance to England. And I said, well, I'm terribly sorry, but I can't forswear an allegiance I don't have. I have no allegiance to England at all. I am Irish. And she said, well, you better read these papers. So she handed me all these papers that I had filled in, and everywhere I had put in former nationality, Irish, it was crossed out and England was printed in. And I told her, I said, I'm terribly sorry, but I don't know who uh, corrected these papers, but I'm Irish and uh, I couldn't accept, uh, I, ca I can't accept it, I'm sorry. She said, well, then you have to go before the judge. And I was sent before a judge in a courtroom that same day within, uh, oh, about half an hour of the incident and you were not allowed to have your uh, lawyer with you. You were only permitted to have your two witnesses, that was your, the witness to your good character. And they went into the courtroom with me, and I appeared before this very nice-looking judge, and he wanted to know what the problem was, and uh, he said, we discussed history, we discussed all sorts of things, and he said, well, as far as I'm concerned, he said, you're English. And I said, no. I'm sorry, I cannot accept it. Under those circumstances, then I can't be an American citizen. And he called the clerk of the court and he said, would you check with Washington what they consider her to be? So he, the, the clerk came back in and said, Washington said she's English. And I said, Your Honor, I'm very sorry, but I'm not responsible for your antiquated records in Washington. And I said, thank you very much but I can't accept citizenship under those conditions. And I turned to walk out, and I thought, uh, well, just before I go, you know, being Irish, we always have to have the last word, I said, I, I think I'll have a, one more crack at him. So I said, Your Honor, do you realize what you are trying to do to my children and grandchildren? And he looked at me, and I said, you're trying to take away their right to boast about their wonderful Irish mother and grandmother. And he threw his hands up in the air and he said, get that woman out of here. Give her anything she wants in her papers. Just get her out of here. And I thanked him and I left the court. This paper was granted, was official in, I think it was January of 19, January 1946. And uh, it hit the newspapers the story, somebody must have blabbed about it, I didn't. It was so important to me, it, it just made my heart happy. I, I didn't do it to, to get in the newspapers, I was in the newspapers every day and to do it movies. And uh, it was around June that it hit the newspapers and the two big newspapers in California, I'm not going to name who they were, said that it was a phony publicity stunt and that it never happened. But so you know, it did happen. There is my citizenship paper. And the, where it says former nationality typed in is Irish. And you can see that English was in there before and it has been erased. And then, because it's an official legal document, this is terribly important, it says, I hereby certify that the erasure made on this certificate as to former nationality Irish was made before issuance to conform to the petition. And it was signed January the 25th, 1946 in the District Court of Los Angeles. And I can't read the signature, but it was a, a, a wonderful judge who got sick of me and gave permission. But the thing that uh, is terribly important, that was the first time 
in the history of the United States of America that an Irish person was accepted and uh, officially pronounced to be Irish. And so this is a terribly important legal document, and I'm very, very proud of it. For an Irish woman to shut up speaking is a very difficult thing because we were born with the gift of the gab. And uh, I could tell you stories about Irish immigrants and other immigrants too that I admire who have made wonderful contributions not just to the United States of America but to the entire world as we move around the world. Maybe one day, please God, we'll make all citizens of the world feel that they're one and the same, that we're all citizens of the world and that we can make the world a more wonderful and a better place. And I just want to thank you for uh, the wonderful honor you gave me this evening and to congratulate the other uh, recipients of the, the like the same award. And uh, please God, it'll be a wonderful world from now on for all of us and that the foundation will continue its wonderful work with immigrants, United States immigrants. But don't forget the immigrants to the rest of the world. They're just as important to the rest of the world and the world hopefully will be one. And yeah, we're all kind of immigrants in the world. Thank you and good evening.